Hey guys, it's me Chandrik and today I want to kinda give you a small things that maybe you didn't aware or you aware so if you already aware then just skip it. So let's start first with the new of character of course, uh, Kole 4 star and then uh, Tainari is 5 star of course then draw both of them and then uh, Dory will be 4 star also. So the uh, Dory is uh, Electro. And then move to the next one, the event of review. So in 3.0 we don't have just like a whole new region but the event still there so that's actually good so we have a lot of primo. The event also that I think want to mind like highlight first is the one the Graven Innocent. It will give you a free cole so if you just want to pull a cole or something then you just skip it because you can get one cole for free unless you want for the constellation. You can get also primos and other stuff as usual like books and tablet analytics also it's kind of just like another like um, event mini games like that and then it will give you primos and other stuff like that as usual also phase trials is kind of like battle give you primos and stuff like that lost riches is like uh, the, the past event where it gives you the the silly for free and of course primo books and something like that so yeah and also the ley line overflow that will give you double times mora and the books itself though so yeah that's the overview in 3 Move to the 3.0 uh, limited character banner. They will have double character banner for the 5 stars. So the first one is of course Tainari, the new one. And it will come with 4 star character Kole. And also the other one is Zhongli. And also with the 4 star character up which is the Kole one also. And to take notes, Tainari will be available in the standard banner. So finally our standard banner will have uh, one new... Uh, character which is Tainari so it is after 3.1 you can read that it's very small in the right corner I will zoom after that uh, the second phase is the Ganyu and Kokomi and of course they will feature the new 4 star which is Dory ele like the Electro one I don't know why if you ask me why Ganyu and the Kokomi come so random but basically probably because they are very friendly for the new players because probably they want to attract new player in 2.0 so I think that makes sense bro Move to the weapon, we have two new bows also. Uh, the first one is a uh, 5 star hunter's pet, I believe that's one for Tainari. And other one is the one that looks like kind of fish, uh, the end of the line. Probably it will come from uh, the river from fishing. And also there's a new forgeable uh, weapons, same like Inazuma, this one also free so you can just use the your ingredients and forge it for free. So it has complete from the bow into the catalyst. So if you ask me what is the limited uh, weapon banner, so this is actually prediction, this is not 100% confirmed, but if you use logic, probably you can slightly read though. Because the first one, Tainari and Zhongli, my guess is probably the new bow and also the Vortex fun creature, I think, I believe, the Zhongli signature weapon for the 5 star rate one. And the second phase, probably, uh, because Ganyu and Kokomi, so it will be a uh, Amos bow and an ever flowing moon glow or whatever it calls, something like that. And for the new uh, add-on feature, they will add first is the strong box is finally updated. So uh, usually it's only Gladiator, uh, Noblesse, and Wonder. Now they will update up to uh, 1.2. So I remember the all the artifact up to 1.2 is uh, until the Blizzard Strayer though. So you can craft everything from Thundering Fury or whatever until Blizzard Strayer though. And then also another add-on feature, there's three new gadgets that I don't think it's important but I will just show you. This for the first one is just like when you put the gadget in your whole area, it will kinda cut the tree by itself, so which is quite important for those for those you like a serenity teapot. The second one is kinda like give advancements for your process of your ingredient become faster. And the last one is just buff for your fishing, literally just make it uh, all the fishing become easier. So here yeah, I forgot to mention there's a two new artifact sets. The first one is I think uh, the one that buff dendro character and the second one is about elemental mastery. So it's probably will base uh, like, uh, kind of buff your elemental mastery stuff or your elemental reaction things like that though. I will not give so much thought about this one because I really like to test on the spot so we really know how it works exactly. So yeah we will check it out when it really. So if you wonder how long this uh Sumeru the uh, Archon story will uh, last actually they say the story will start from 3.0 until 2.2 so 2.2 will the conclusion of the Archon story for the Sumeru itself though so it's kind of one more patch than Inazuma that uh, conclude in 2.1 so this one is more one patch until 3.2 Lastly, for the our Genshin Impact uh, kind of schedule, they already give kind of roadmap like expected which one, uh, which day they will update. So starting from 3.0 up to 3.2, we will have a uh, five weeks uh, update 
uh, instead of six weeks that usually uh, they do. So we technically we have one week shorter of the update, so it become faster by one week from 3.0 to 3.2. So in here also in Battle Pass they already confirmed that uh, usually we need a thousand for the level up, but now you only only need for 900, which is good for the people that kind of busy. So, but after that, after 3.3, it will just back into normal, which is to become the six week again. I believe this adjustment is because the 2.6 delay because the situation in Shanghai like that. So they kind of want to catch up into normal schedule. That's why they kind of short make it short but take note it's actually quite a bit for those people a kind of um, low spender or free to play because technically for the people that free to play that i can't this the seven week days actually kind of we lose around 420 primos and for the people that buy welkin and stuff we lose around thousand primo that's quite useful actually so yeah my suggestion have a better uh planning for your pools become more strict to yourself like very uh planning well like very aim which one that you want without losing your sight because we will lose quite much of primo because the seven day at least for me but i don't know it's depend on you so yeah pretty much that's it though uh, i hope all the best with the update in 3.0 enjoy your game uh, all the best of luck and i will see you in another video if you like feel free to subscribe button and like bye bye